Club Express, mobile app for administrators. Club Express offers an optional mobile app for your members to have quick access to your organization's full website and access to many additional app-only features, like channel-based live chat, direct messaging, and a location-based meetup tool. The mobile app is available for an additional one-time fee. Check the pricing page at clubexpress.com for up-to-date pricing information. This video covers setting up and configuring your mobile app and mobile app features, including chat, meets, and in-app notifications. Be sure to watch our companion video, Mobile App for Members, to learn how to use the app and its features. If you haven't already purchased the mobile app for your organization, you can do so right through your organization's website. Navigate to your Control Panel Website tab. In the Setup section, select Mobile App Setup. We'll need a few things from you to create your app. Your app name, which appears underneath the icon on the device. Your app logo, splash screen, and icon images. Be sure to follow the instructions and upload the correct sizes for each image. Last, you'll determine the price of your app for your members. You have two options. You can charge your members for the app or offer the app for free. If you charge for the app, both the Apple App Store and Google Play Store keep a portion of the cost, a portion is retained by Club Express, and a portion is remitted to you. If you offer the app for free, your organization will be charged a small one-time fee per download. Check the details in the App Costs section for updated app costs. Finally, you'll check the box agreeing to pay the app setup fee. Once your app is available for download, we'll notify you. Many of the features in the mobile app are channel-based. Channels are collections of members you create based on things like committee participation, member type, chapter, and more. Let's look at how to create and manage your organization's channels. Once your mobile app is live, you'll see a new link in your website tab, Mobile App Manager. Click the link to navigate to the channel manager. You can search through your existing channels by status, channel type, which is how you determine who's in the channel, or channel name. Click search without entering search criteria to see all channels. In the search results grid, you'll see the channel name and type, status, and options to edit the channel, view channel members, or delete the channel. At the top of the screen, you can add a channel, run reports on channel members, mobile app downloads, and reported messages, manage your mobile app settings, and view and manage reported chat messages. To create a channel, click Add Channel. In the pop-up window, name your channel. The channel name will be used to identify the channel in the mobile app. The default status for all new channels is active. If you want to temporarily disable a channel, you can edit any existing channels and change the status to Disabled. Choose the basis of membership to this channel. Some of the options will force automatic membership for anyone who fits in the category. Members cannot remove themselves from automatic channels. Remember, members manage their channel memberships and notifications through their member profile. Watch our companion video, Mobile App for Members, to learn more. Choose All Active Members to create a channel where all active members are automatic participants. Remember, members won't be able to remove themselves from this channel. Choose Member Opt-in to create a channel members can optionally join. They'll also be able to leave the channel at any time. Choose Admin Defined to create a channel in which administrators must add and remove members. Choosing either Interest Members, committee members, member type, subgroup, or member additional data will display additional fields, allowing you to choose the specific item. For example, if you select member type, you'll see a drop-down list of all member types in your organization. These channels are also automatic and based on the specific item. In the case of a committee-based channel, any member who is on the committee you select will automatically become a member of that channel. When they're removed from the committee, they'll also be removed from the channel. Enter a channel description. Members will see the channel description when they visit their member profile to manage their channel memberships. Finally, 
select an optional image for the channel. The image appears in the list of channels in the mobile app. Click Save to save your changes. Note that channels and channel memberships run on a schedule and may take up to 30 minutes to appear in your mobile app. Back on the Channel Manager screen, click the Edit icon to edit a channel. Click the Members icon to manage the members in the channel, including making the member a moderator for the channel, hiding the channel from the member's view, or the option to send the member notifications if the member has downloaded the app and enabled notifications for that channel. In Mobile App Options, you can change your app name and logo image. Once your app has been deployed, if you wish to make any further changes to your splash or icon images, this requires rebuilding the app and you'll be charged an additional fee. You can also change the time span and radius selections members can choose from when enabling their shared location in Meets. Back on the Mobile App Manager screen, you may also see a notice at the top that you have reported chat messages to view. Click the link to view any messages reported by members in chat channels. The search panel allows you to search reported messages by channel, posting or reporting member, message status, and date range. For each reported message, you'll see the message details. Click the edit icon to manage the message. Click active edited to return the message to the chat, either with edits or as it was posted originally. Click Accept Report to keep the message hidden from the chat. In-app notifications can be sent to members through the mobile app. The notifications can include links to pages on your website, events, and more. Note that in order to receive the notifications, members will need to have downloaded the mobile app to their device, successfully logged in, and enabled notifications. Navigate to the Control Panel Communications tab and select In-App Notifications. The Notification Manager screen is where you'll add notifications, view bad devices or devices not receiving notifications, and options to configure the feature. The Search Panel at the top of the screen allows you to search for notifications by category, date range, and sender, with the option to include archived notifications. The search results grid includes the notification status, whether it's a draft, queued for immediate delivery, scheduled for delivery, or sent. You'll also see the title added to the notification, who sent it, the distribution list, and category. To the right, you'll see various options to manage each notification. We'll come back to those. Click Configure, then Categories, to view and manage your notification categories. These categories are used to store your notifications and aren't visible to members. The categories you see are also shared with your BLAST emailing module and text messaging if you have it enabled on your website. Any category you create here will also appear in the other modules. Click Add Category to add a new category. Organizations with subgroups can also create categories for a specific subgroup. In the Maintain column, you can edit or delete categories that don't have any entries assigned to them. Back on the Notification Manager screen, click Configure, then Save Distribution List to create and manage distribution lists for your notifications. Like categories, these distribution lists are shared with the emailing and text messaging modules. Click Add List to begin building a new list. Choose a group from the drop down menu and click Add to add the group to the list. Some selections will require you to specify a choice. For example, if you choose members with a specific birth date, you'll be asked to choose the date or range. You can also choose a group and exclude it from your list. When you're finished with your selections, name your list and click Save. Finally, click Configure, then Options, to determine whether event coordinators would be able to send notifications from the Event Admin screen. Click Save to save any changes and return to the Notification Manager screen. Let's create a notification. Click Add Notification to create a new notification to send to your members through the mobile app. First, choose your distribution list. You can choose a list you created or create a new one just for this message. 
You can also save the list you create. Enter a title, then choose a category. For the content of your notification, you have a limit of 300 characters, not including any links you want to add. Select Click Here to add a link to use the Link Builder to add a link to various places on your website, like an event, news article, or custom page. Finally, enter the text of your notification. Selecting Send Now and Ready for Delivery cues the notification for immediate delivery and is usually sent to members in a few minutes. Choosing a future date and time and selecting Ready for Delivery delays the notification and changes the status to Scheduled for Delivery. On the Notification Manager search results grid, you'll be able to quickly reference the date and time you chose. To save the notification as a draft without sending, click Save. For notifications with a status of draft, you can make changes to the message by clicking the edit icon. For notifications that have been sent, you can only change the category assigned to the notification. Click the clipboard icon to copy the notification. You'll see the copy at the top of your search results list. Click the view icon to see a preview of the notification. Note that links will only appear in the actual notification. Back in the maintain column, Click the Archive icon to archive the message and remove it from the main search results screen. Remember, you can include archive notifications by checking the box in the search panel. Finally, click the results icon to view a count of the notifications which were sent. At the top of the screen, you can also view a list of bad devices for your organization or devices where members are not receiving notifications. Usually, you can resolve these errors by asking the member to uninstall, then reinstall their app. Be sure to have the member allow notifications and log in successfully. Then you can clear the error. With the mobile app, your members can also send other members direct messages. This feature must be enabled separately. Navigate to the People tab and click the Configure button to activate the feature. Remember to watch our companion video mobile app for members for more details on using direct messaging. Finally, you can configure a mobile app menu or a quick access menu members see above your website menu in the mobile app. Navigate to the website tab, setup section, and select menus. Scroll down to find the mobile app menu. Click edit app menu to manage the menu. You'll add and remove items the same way as any other menu on your website. Click Save to save your changes. You can also click the Edit icon with each option to set a custom icon for the function in the app. While you're here, you can optionally make Chat and Meets available to your members on your desktop website. When your mobile app is activated, the two modules are added to your website, but you'll need to add them to your website menu if you want members to be able to access them. Find the menu or submenu you want to add the features to, then choose them from the list of available modules. So now you've learned how to set up and configure your new mobile app and its features. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.